Hey everybody, this is Abdel from uh, Ratio Trading, and I want to start doing videos. I'm going to start doing them exclusively uh, on YouTube, I think. And so I wanted to kind of just um, go over some markets here uh, as we sort of head into next week. So I'm recording today. It's a it's a Saturday morning, the 19th, September 19th. And so I want to look at the markets uh, as we head into sort of the, the end of this month. Um, and what's really been interesting is the action that we've seen over the last couple of days. So I'm going to look at a weekly chart here. And, and because the weekly chart just shows so much information that to me tells me that we are headed down. So you can see here uh, I've got my fib and it, I drew it from the low from this high here down to the low. Uh, and you can see in that time over the last few weeks, we had a hard, hard dip and then a rally back up. And you can see that we saw we got some rallying up earlier than the week and then the last couple of days of the week we saw some hard selling particularly after the fed announcement and then on friday with options and, and all that closing and so what's really interesting here is that you can see when we zoom out over the last few years we've been developing this sort of trend line and that trend line broke and then what happened this week was we rallied into that trend line into that 618 area right here and and then have since started to pull back so as we go into next week or what I'm going to be doing and what I started doing essentially on Thursday and especially on Friday morning was I started getting short the S&P via a variety of, of different uh, instruments. So I shorted, for example, I bought some puts. I bought some December puts. Um, I bought some October puts actually for a shorter term play. Um, I also bought some uh, SPXS, which is a triple bear ETF. So essentially, if we go SPXS, I believe it is. Uh, it is a triple bear uh, S&P ETF. So if the S&P continues to go down, then this is going to continue to go up. So grab some of this down right around here, right around 20 bucks, and expecting a move at least into, you know, 10% 10, 10 return at least. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if we retest these highs around 25, and then wouldn't be shocked, actually, if we start to break through there. And that's what makes this all very, very interesting it's that where we are after breaking through that market, uh, through that trend line, it doesn't look very good, right? So if this market rallies and retests the, the 25, we could head to 27, maybe even 30 over the next several months, maybe even longer. But again, going back, look at the S&P. What this looks like right here is a situation where we broke a major trend. And one that was established for essentially four years. And now we've rallied and, you know, sort of done the kiss of death, if you want to call it. So uh, if that is to be the case, then and we see some selling, uh, I think we'll easily see some selling down into this area again over the next few weeks. And then what will be interesting is, do we end up breaking through this area here. If we do, we're going to see the 127 get hit and then potentially the 1618. Um, so that's going to be very inter interesting to watch. If you are not short yet, what do you do? In my opinion, you got to start looking at smaller time frames, hourly, four hour. Look for any pullback up into any shorting opportunities and try to get short. I would not jump in right away. And, and, and my advice is just be patient. So hope that helps. Uh, and if you guys have questions, let me know in comments. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.